I'm Gemma Polson. I'm in 12th grade at Skyline High School. Hi, I'm Sarah Solik. I'm also in 12th grade at Skyline High School, and we invented the drinking fountain filter. So the reason why we came up with the idea for this invention is because recently in Michigan we've been experiencing the Flint water crisis, where there's just been a lot of lead and overall the water quality in our state has been very poor, and overall it's a problem in America that um, the drinking quality is not where it should be. So we decided we wanted to come up with a way to filter our water from drinking fountains. So this device is useful for older buildings or schools where it's not easy to take out the water fountain or to access the pipes in order to put in either a new water fountain or a water filter. So we created a device that can just go on top of a water fountain or a drinking fountain. Um, and it's attachable to any drinking fountain. It is a very cheap alternative because all you need to do is buy the filter and our attachments in order to be able to get it to work so you don't need to pay the money to reinstall the entire uh, drinking fountain to put in like a, uh, a completely new one or just a filtered pipe. So we're going to demonstrate how our invention works. All you have to do is attach the straws to the drinking fountain, attach the filter to the drinking fountain, and then you have the straw that it comes out of. As you can see, once it, the water goes through the filter, it comes out uh, the second straw so you can drink from it. So we're going to show you up close what our invention looks like. Okay. We use straws that come from water bottles so that we knew they were going to be safe to go to have water transport through them. We also use a filter that can easily be replaced and so you can use any filter you want. So if you specifically have lead in your water or if there's um, some other issue with the drinking water, you can buy your own filter to attach depending on which one you need. For this specific filter, all you need to do is unscrew the back of it in order to replace the filter on the inside. So you have easy access to be able to change it if, uh, once the more gets used. We also got the suction cup attachment so that you'll be able to attach the filter to any sort of drinking fountain so long as there's some sort of a flat surface, whether it's the top or the side of the drinking fountain. That way it keeps it from moving or falling over and you always have a firm base to hold, your or to hold the filter on. We're currently using um, duct tape to secure our device and keep everything attached. If we were to, this is just a cheap alternative to keep it all together, we would use something more watertight and professional given the opportunity. So we experimented by changing the orientation of our filter to make sure we did it in the most efficient way and by coming up with different ways to attach the straws to the filter and being able to attach the straw to the drinking fountain itself. Again, we had to use duct tape in the end to make it so that there was a cheap alternative to making a waterproof way to attach it to the filter, but again, we would use more of a water type solution in order to actually attach it. So in conclusion, our water fountain filter is used for everyday people who are working in older buildings and schools and need to make sure that they have clean and safe water to drink from and that want to be able to do so from drinking fountains. Thank you.